this is a bit scary but it's very early in the morning and uh, because the old fart's getting old it can't sleep very well so what I thought I'd do is show my fellow brew tubers how to do labelling I've been searching the internet for an easy way of doing labels not your posh ones but I suppose it could develop into posh ones and it probably will develop into posh ones but it seems to me like a lot of you people don't like labelling bottles now I for one find labelling 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 a bottles uh, a bit of a pain in the arse however I do like doing bottles you know doing the ciphering malarkey ciphering siphoning malarkey so I thought how do I distinguish from one beer to another when you got loads of bottles and uh, I used to write on sticky back paper you know the ones the stickers and that stick them onto the bottle and then you can't get the bloody things off and then you have to write we're biro and I'm not keen on that so if you're interested um, I'll show you how I've got round it and you need two pieces of software you need Beersmith which I, I suppose a lot of you have got for other things uh, like brewing and also a thing I'll show you in a bit uh, cue music Now, like I say, you'll need two programs to do the labelling for your bottles. Now, I'm not talking posh labels. I'm talking just the basics, the bits and bobs that are important, i.e. the, the beer name, um, the when it was bottled, perhaps the, the alcohol content, all the little basic little bits and bobs that you just want to put on a label. Now, to achieve this, you want two programs, you want Beersmith and you want a little program that you can down off, uh, download off the internet, I'll show you. So just go into Chrome or whatever browser you use and just type in your search engine SeaMonkey. Usually the first one and go into the sea monkey page and go down download it download sea monkey right so we'll close that up for now so once you've downloaded that i think it does it for all operating systems just load it up onto your computer whether it's a mac whether it's a, a, a windows whatever just download that then go into beersmith so Right, if you don't know what Beersmith is, it's a program about brewing, which is really good. Another quick slot. And it's got custom reports uh, in there, buried away. But I couldn't see one for making basic labels. So what I decided to do is have a look through the internet, and, and I've done quite a bit of research on it, and... Uh, I've just found this little method of doing it not the push labels but just the basics right now the page I want if I go up to help at the top there it takes you to the Beersmith uh, index if you like on the internet and if you just look at uh, search wherever it is Here we go. Now at the bottom here, just right at the last topic there, it's got custom reports. So press that. I'm not interested in this top bit. So just drag that up. Now the bit I'm use, uh, using is, you see these bits and bobs here, common, ugh, commonly used recipe tags. 
Now these have got like a title, right? Two little dots, semicolons are they called? I'm not bloody sure, I'm not into that. Long time since I went to school. But at the end of it, you've got like a dollar sign followed by a little bit of code. Now you don't have to worry about this bits of, of code, but you'll be using this information. Now, you, you know, you've got actual alcohol by volume at the top. You've got bitterness ratio. All bits and bobs that you might choose to put on your bottling label. So if we go back to Sea Monkey a lot, we'll bring that up because I've downloaded it already, which usually all oh, the birds are flying over there. Right, if you go up to File and then go New, no, and then right at the bottom there, look, there's Compose Page. So you press that and it brings up like a, a page, what's it, if you like. Now on here there's a, a little, you know, little bloody icon things, but there look, it's table, so insert a new table. Now here it gives you the rows and columns. Now I want 10 rows for my labels, and I want 2 columns. So if you just press that, it generates a little table that you can insert your bits and bobs in. So. What you can do then, look, is if you go back to here, look, uh, let's look for name for a start. Where's name? Oh, bloody hopeless. If you go to the bit that you fancy in your label, just left click on your mouse, highlight it, right click, copy, right back into sea monkey and on the first page there just click in, in the paste the, the cell click into it and paste press enter to go on to the next line then go back into your internet so we've got the name so what else do we want uh, bottling date we'll put the bottling date there so just copy the any information that you want off here Copy, go back into Sea Monkey, press paste, go down again. Now you can choose a multitude of these, whatever you want, but for this exercise I'll just choose one more. So let's go into uh, actual alcohol by volume, ABV, copy. it in. Now you can alter the text to any style that you want through this program. You'll have to have a look. I'm sure you'll be able to format it the way you want. So once I've got what I want in that box there, look, I highlight it again by left click on the mouse, drag it, whatever you want, then right click, copy, and then just go into that little box there, look, paste, and do every one of these boxes right so once you've done your first uh, cell and got it the way you want it then copy everything over so you don't have to do it two or three times Right, now what we want to do is save this. So we go to File, Save As, there look. And we're going to call it uh, Bottling Labels. Don't have to call it that, call it what you want. Your labels. Right, then it'll come up with a, a location where you want to save it. Right, so I'm going to save it to the desktop. Now, on um, on a Mac, it's probably different to Windows, but uh, my desktop is there. So I'm going to save it to the desktop, and you can do that through Windows by saving. I'm sure you know how to do that. So I'm going to save that. Right. So now I can come out of Sea Monkey and I can come out of Chrome because I've used all the bits and bobs. 
I'll just minimize Beersmith and on there look you've got an HTML document and if you were to double click it it will come up in your browser like that but we don't want it there now right then as I was saying we've got the HTML file that uh, is the report so what we want to do is put it in the right location now on Windows um, you would look in the uh, Explorer and find the right location in the Mac I'll show you what uh, you have to do on the Mac so it's on Finder now the Beersmith application is in my documents under documents if you press that um, you'll get the Beersmith 2 folder so if you open that up it's the same on the Mac uh, on the uh, Windows <laughs> silly bugger and if you scroll down up it'll come down to reports and these are all the bits and bobs reports so all you do look you drag that into reports highlight it drop it so it's in there now look bottling labels for the vlog there look so you can come out of there okay and now it's back to Beersmith so let's load Beersmith go up to the Beersmith 2 thing at the top preferences down to reports now what we want to do is add the report that we've just uh, created so you go to add reports call it a name so for this exercise I'll keep it the same because I've already done one and I'm going to call it uh, bottling for the blog then you've got to choose the template that you've just made so press the template button choose template and it should take you back into the uh, the Explorer type thing and if you look here look uh, bottle labels for the vlog there it is so you press that and press open now the important thing on here is it's an HTM file which means it's a web based thing so it's not a plain text so on here look you've got a choice so choose web page it's important you do that if you don't it don't work and then press OK so that's up and running now so if we go back into our um, if you like brews so I keep mine on the cloud and we'll have a look at East Kent smash the one I did last week now on the display at the bottom it's got all the bits and bobs that you can choose but now on there look you've got bottling for vlog it's a report so press that and it comes out with your labels now all I've got to do now is print it off so just press print it gives the format of what it looks like you can adjust this to make it look better or worse or whatever and then you just press print and away it goes so I'll show you what it looks like when it comes off so I've just printed the form off and it comes off like that obviously uh, you can line it up and do what you want but now what I normally do I normally cut these out a pair of scissors and like I say it's just um, just the bits and bobs the bare essentials so cut them off and then what I do um, I'll lay them on my bench um, on a plastic uh, tablecloth thingy upside down and then to stick them onto my bottles I don't use glue or anything I just get a spray bottle put some milk in it and spray the back of it like I've seen this on Tintinet and it works and then you just stick them to, to, to your bottle and they stick really well dry out and when you come to wash them again the bloody labels drop off so basically that's uh, that's me uh, how to do bottle labels I hope this is helped I hope I've not bored you and uh, thanks for watching the old fart uh, doing uh, an how to on bottle labels
Bye for now.